<laughs> when my wife and I first decided to purchase our Tesla Model 3, we had long discussed which trim was right for us. Since we had test driven a performance, I was very interested in going for that model given the significant acceleration difference between that and any other trim. Now, I ended up losing out on that decision as we ended up going with the long range model, but part of that decision was that the acceleration boost that is available for the long range was on the table potentially in the future. This option for the long range dual motor vehicle takes the zero to 60 acceleration from 4.2 seconds down to about 3.7, which is about halfway between the original value and the 3.1 seconds that you see on the performance. Now, I couldn't quite talk my wife into dropping the $2,000 on the acceleration boost right out of the gate after purchasing the car, but it was still on the table potentially for the future, especially if anyone ended up using our referral code to purchase a car. Well, I'm very excited to say that we actually had our first referral code usage earlier this month with a delivery and pickup this past Monday. Huge shout out to my father and mother-in-law, Jay and Debbie. They received their first Tesla, a blue Model 3 rear wheel drive this past week. They used our referral code and therefore we received 10,000 referral credits to use with Tesla on the referral store. 9,500 of those credits is going to be going towards the acceleration boost upgrade. So it'll end up costing us nothing out of pocket. As promised, anytime we use referral codes, I'm gonna use to produce content on this channel, and that's what we're gonna do here today. Hey everyone, it's Max, and today I'm gonna to go over the installation and my first impression of the Tesla Model 3 Long Range's Acceleration Boost software upgrade. A few things to know about the referral program before we actually get into things. If someone uses your referral code, you don't actually get the credits until that person accepts delivery. You are notified when the order takes place, and then your credits actually get held in a pending balance until that person takes and accepts delivery. Another thing to note is that the conversion of points to dollars right now is about 10 to one, although it does vary based on the product you choose. So for most items on the list, figure you're getting almost $1,000 worth of credits for that 10,000. However, for the acceleration boost, you're able to get that feature that costs $2,000 for less than 10,000 credits. So in that case, you're getting much more bang for your buck compared to the other purchase options. I have to think this is because it's a software upgrade versus something tangible that they have to ship to you and the reoccurring cost of allowing people to download that software is probably pretty low compared to sending something like a roof rack. Another important thing to note is that the acceleration boost is actually only available in long range models that have the dual motors. So this is not an option for rear wheel drive models. It also removes the standard drive option when installing, leaving only the comfort and the sport option that has the increased acceleration. So without further ado, let's get into the test drive. I'm actually gonna take my wife along with me to get her take about the differences in the different accelerations. We're gonna go for a drive on the current mode to get a baseline for the feel of the acceleration and the drive, run the update, and then actually do the same loop with the acceleration boost and give you an update on if it felt any different. For this test, I'm not gonna use any kind of application to actually collect data on the actual speed acceleration differences between the standard and then the upgrade. I don't have a place to do controlled tests or straightaways or anything like that. So this is just gonna be our impression of using the different modes on our local streets and highways. There'll be plenty of opportunities to open up the acceleration and really get a feel for that speed. But I honestly think it's more add value to talk about how it feels driving on normal streets and highways than it would be to test drive on a racetrack and tell you how that feels in comparison. All right, so let's go. I mean, 
It's still one of the fastest cars I've ever driven. Even with um, the acceleration, you still kind of go back in your in your seat. I'm just curious if it's going to feel like almost like the roller coaster ride that when we first drove with performance during the test drive. Yeah. So as you can see, when you go to your typical settings, if I go to pedals and steering, that you have two options for acceleration, both chill and standard. Even in the long range mode, and I'm pretty sure in every single mode, you still get comfort, standard, and sport for steering, no matter what trim that you have, which really just tightens up the steering itself. But for acceleration, it is just chill and standard. Once I run the update to have the acceleration boost, rather than adding a third option, it's actually going to remove standard and only give me sport in this section. It's a little bit of a weird choice for Tesla to make. It'd be nice to have all three options since I know my wife in particular will not always want to drive in sport mode. However, that's just how the software update works and that's what we're gonna see once we run this update. All right, now I'm gonna get into the actual update itself. I'm gonna go into the app, into the referral credits section, and you can see at the top, I've got 10,000 credits available. So I'm gonna scroll over to redeem. I'm going to personally go over to Upgrades, click on Upgrades. You can see right there, there's the acceleration boost for 9,500 credits. They also have upgrades like premium connectivity for a year or full self-driving for an additional three months. Um, we're going to go with the acceleration boost today. So I'm going to click on that, click on my Model 3 that I'm adding it to, Come confirm that I'm redeeming. And it's gonna show me my total balance that I have, what's due, and how many credits I'm gonna have after I redeem. I hit redeem credits. I'm just gonna say order received. Your car will upgrade when it's in park and on Wi-Fi. So let's see what happens now on the screen. The prompt actually just went away, but a little icon came up that said vehicle update pending. So I imagine that's going to kick in somewhere soon. So acceleration boost, it says it right there. Improves acceleration from zero to 60 in 3.7 seconds. So is that already in there? So that was actually super weird for me. Um, when I first clicked in the acceleration boost, I got some notification along the bottom that said an upgrade was available, but where the acceleration was concerned, it still just said chill and standard, which led me to believe that the install had not happened. However, when I went down to software, it was showing it as one of the added features. So what I ended up doing was getting out of the car, closing the door, letting everything kind of boot down. And then when I got back in, as you probably just saw, the acceleration boost is now showing up in the acceleration section, giving me the sport mode. So we are good to go to test this out. So now we're on the road with the sports mode activated. I definitely just from like pressing the pedal standpoint, it feels a lot tighter. <laughs> All right, so it is a lot faster. Thanks, it's like fun. She goes, wee, when I say. 
<laughs> well, like you saw in that video, there's definitely a noticeable difference. To be completely honest, there's actually been a few days between when I actually shot that original video and when I'm recording my follow-up right now. When we initially installed the update and did the test runs, that was actually right before we went on the trip that I discussed in one of my previous videos about packing the family car and doing a trip with it. So rather than rush out a video and give my first impressions, I decided to take that car on that trip, experience the long two and a half hour drive with the acceleration boost and report back on what I thought to give a more well-rounded review of how it worked. Now, here's the question, is it worth it? Well, if you really like speed, then maybe. I still struggle with the $2,000 price tag when you could have paid $4,000 when buying your car to get the full performance package. Granted, then you have to deal with the whole drama of swapping out your summer tires with winter tires, but for just $2,000 difference, you get that extra speed acceleration and you get all those trim features. So for me, if I was paying in cash, it would be worth it to just take that extra leap and that extra cost and get the full performance model. However, if you have referral code usage, then I would say this is absolutely something to consider using those points on. Unless there's something else in the referral store that's really jumping out to you and calling your name, and there's not a ton on there, I would say that this is a good first usage of your points. Again, it's the most bang for your buck in terms of cost, and it is a very cool feature that actually adds value to your car permanently. The software is attached, and something with the acceleration boost will typically sell for more when you end up selling your car down the road. Something that Tesla does offer if you purchase the acceleration boost out of pocket is a refund if you decide to return the software within 48 hours. This only applies for the first time that you download the upgrade, but it does give you the opportunity to pay for the upgrade, test it out for a day or two, and if you decide that that was not worth two grand, you can return it and get your money back. That's a really nice feature. I wonder how much of that is due to the fact that people were not satisfied with the acceleration boost and were asking for refunds to the point where they had to build in that program itself. But yeah, that's all I have for today. If you plan on ordering a Tesla and need a referral code to get that $500 off and free three months of self-driving, feel free to use my code. As always, it is linked in the description below. Like I said, and like this video shows, if you use my referral code, any credit usage, I will turn into content for this channel. As always, if you like this video and you want to see more, please like, comment, and subscribe to see more. Thanks for watching. Until next time.